Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 3.3 from Sadiku book. So, the question is find P and I in the circuit of figure 3.11. Okay, this is the figure and let's set this bottommost node here as our ground. So, this will be our reference node. The voltage here will be 0. And then, let's name this node here as P1. And let's name this node here as P2. Okay, however, this is a voltage source connected between two nodes. So, we will need a super node here. So, let's cover that. So, V1 and V2 will be our super node. Okay, let's do super node. Okay, and then what else can we get from here? This is 14 volt from the ground. So, this node here will be 14 volt. Okay. And then let's assume the direction of the current. Let's assume this will be going to the right. And let's assume this will be going down. Let's assume this also going down. And let's assume this will go down. Okay. Now, let's do KCL at the super node. KCL at super node. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one, and that current is... 14 minus V1, so I will have 14 minus V1 divided by 4, the resistance between them. And then that will equal to this three currents that goes out. This current here is V1 minus 0 divided by 3, the resistance between them. And then plus this current here, which is V2 minus 0 divided by 2 and then plus we will have v2 minus 0 divided by 6 so I have v2 minus 0 divided by 6 okay I think we can multiply all of this by 12 so we can get rid of all the denominator here okay 4 and 12 will cancel into 3. So on the left hand side, I will have 3 and then 14 minus V1. And then on the right hand side here, 3 and 12 will cancel into 4. And V1 minus 0 is just V1. Okay. And then 6 and 12 will cancel into 6. And then V2 minus 0 is just V2. You okay. know what else? 6 and 12 will cancel into 2, and this one will be V2. So I will have 2 V2. Okay, let's do some math here. 3 multiplied by 14 is 42, I think. And then we will have minus 3 V1. And then we will have 4 V1 here. And then plus... 6 plus 2, that will be 8 V2. Okay. And then let's rearrange this. 4 plus 3 is just 7. So I'll have 7 V1. And then plus 8 V2. And that will equal to 42. Okay. That's good. Now let's save this as equation number 1. Okay. We need... One more equation because we have two variables here, right? And what can we see is inside the super node. Okay, so in the 6 volt voltage source. The 6 volt meaning that the positive terminal and the negative terminal has the difference of 6. So we will have it like this in the 6 volt voltage source. Okay, the difference between the positive terminal, which is V2, and then 
negative terminal which is P1 that will be this 6 volt okay but now let's rearrange this to get V P1 in the front so I will have minus P1 plus P2 is equal to 6 yeah this is equation number Okay, what can we get from here? Yeah, I think we can just do elimination at this one. Okay, so I will have 7 V1 plus 8 V2. That will equal to 42. And then we will have minus okay let's multiply this by 8 so i want to get rid of this 8 so i will have minus 8 p1 and then plus 8 p2 that will be equal to 48 okay that's good now let's eliminate this so we will have this will be 15 so i'll have 15 p1 and this will be minus 6. Yeah, so what is V1? V1 is minus 6 divided by 15. Let's make it divided by 3. So I will have 2 over 5. Okay, so I will have V1. But remember V1 is also V. So I will have V is equal to V1. And that will be minus 2 over 5 is 0 0.4. And here the unit will be 4. But then this will be uh, minus 400. Okay. That's good. So this is the first answer that we are looking for. Okay. And now let's find out what is I. But let's clean up the board first. Our board is full. Okay, for this second question, which is finding I, we need the V2. I think I just do another elimination here. But this time, let's eliminate the uh, V1. So I will have 7 V1 plus 8 V2 is equal to 42. And then now let's multiply this by 7. So I have minus v, 7 V1 plus 7 V2. And that will equal to 42. Okay. And then let's add them up. So I will have 15 V2 is equal to 84. And what is V2? V2 is 84 divided by 15. 84 divided by 15. That will be 5.6. Okay, so I have 5.6 volt. But then I is V2 minus 0 divided by 2. Right? So I have I is v2 minus 0 divided by 2 so i will have 5.6 minus 0 divided by 2 that will be i think 2.8 right 2.8 and i think that is the final answer for this question which is asking for i and b and i think we got this right because it is the same answer as this question Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.